वेलकम टू फास्ट कॉर्डर ट्वेंटी वन यूट्यूब चैनल शेयर नॉलेज गेन नॉलेज सो वेन एवर यू शेयर द नॉलेज यू कैन गेट द नॉलेज मोर सो द मेन मोट ऑफ दिस चैनल टू एडुकेट द पीपल हु आर इन नीड ऑफ मेडिकल कोडिंग नॉलेज सो इफ यू आर ए फ्रेशर आई एम गोइंग टू पब्लिश लाइक वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू फ्रेशर्स इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंसड पर्सन आई एम गोइंग टू पब्लिश वीडियोज फॉर एक्सपीरियंसड पर्सन so if the video is not relevant to you just bear with me yes i am making the videos for all people who are irrespective of pressure or experienced people so presently i have posted ed common interview questions as well as scc common interview questions and in future i am going to place in patient common interview questions radiology common interview questions and as well as pathology common interview questions and surgery common interview questions so please help your friends to subscribe to my channel and gain some knowledge from my channel so if you have any comments and if you would like to ask me any topic i will prepare myself and i will make the material and i will make a video video with that topic so without wasting our time today we are going to learn cpc anatomy and physiology guys uh, today's topic is cpc anatomy and physiology part 1 the thing is that you know anatomy and physiology is useful everywhere like if you go to cpc exam if you go to live coding if you become your auditor also anatomy and physiology is must and should you need to learn as you know medical terminology is ocean of things so we can't tell each and everything in the few videos so here we are going to learn few common interview questions as well as cpc for exam cpc exam also as well as if you are going to do job in surgery also this terminology is very essential for you So today's our first question is what is sarcoidosis answer sarcoidosis is an autoimmune disease in which collection of inflammatory cells replace normal tissue causing organ dysfunction so here first we need to understand the word autoimmune disease so autoimmune disease is a disease in which our own body cells can't differentiate foreign cells foreign body cells or own body cells so what happens our body will acts against our own body cells so then it will become auto immune disease so basically our own cells will fight against our own cells because of this it will create organ dysfunction so in sarcoidosis the abnormal cells will form anywhere in the body so if you find as it is we can consider it as a chronic condition as also as it is a autoimmune disease we can make it as chronic condition as it is related to our own immune system so our second question is phlebitis what is phlebitis here we need to divide the word phlebitis so here pleb pleb means vein it is means inflammation so inflammation of the vein for example if you find gastritis gastro means stomach it is means inflammation so inflammation of the stomach you can call it as gastritis for example if you take sinusitis here we need to divide sinusitis sinusitis like first sinusitis prefix as well as it is suffix so if you combine sin sinus and it is it will become sinusitis so if you remember this suffixes it will be easy for you to understand the medical terminology so what is phlebitis here phlebitis is inflammation of a vein and is not caused by coronary artery occlusion so basically it is a inflammation of the vein third question is what is the other name for primary pulmonary hypertension answer is primary pulmonary hypertension is also known as idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension so you will you need to remember as in cpc exam they will ask you what is the other name for 
primary pulmonary hypertension so they will give you few choices four choices and you need to select one question 4 what is the causative organism of malignant otitis externa answer malignant otitis externa means otitis means ear so this condition is related to ear so it is a malignant condition related to the ear bones okay so malignant otitis externa is a severe bacterial infection of the external auditory canal commonly found in patients with uncontrolled diabetes or other immune compromise that is stress to involve underlying bone and cartilage so basically it is a bone disease so whoever has diabetes or other autoimmune disease they need they are vulnerable to get this condition so they need to take care next question is what is the term glass o glass and o here glass o glass is prefix o means combining vowel so here glass o means tongue for example if you listen the word glossitis itis means inflammation just now we have discussed so glass o means tongue so glossitis means inflammation of the tongue so you need to know suffixes if anyone want more knowledge of anatomy just keep in the comment i will make more videos about the suffixes and prefixes see what is that term sublingual so here we need to divide sublingual sub means under lingual means tongue so it is like under the tongue it is very easy if you know uh, we are able to divide the word and we can identify prefix combining vowel and suffix question number seven what is diagnosis answer the disease or condition that is named after a healthcare professional evaluates a patient signs symptoms and history so for example patient comes to the ed with abdominal pain so what happens physician will perform some few basic tests and he will decide that it is a gastritis means here gastro means stomach itis means inflammation so inflammation of the stomach so we can call it as this gastritis as diagnosis so basically the disease or condition that is named after a so here after is very important after a healthcare professional evaluates a patient sign symptoms and history along with few tests so next question is what is prognosis answer prognosis means prediction of the probable outcome of a disease or disorder so when you go to a physician whenever he will start any treatment to us he will think about the prognosis so for example i am going to give this medication to these patients what will happen in the future like because of those medications that is the prognosis so prediction of the probable outcome of a disease or disorder so physician wise he needs to think about the prognosis even our side we need to think what happens next to my symptoms or disease or disorder so next we what is sequela answer a condition that results from an injury or disease referred to in a coding as a late effects so this is very common in our coding field so we can usually call it as late effects so because of previous injury patient has current problems so that will become late effect so question 10 what is acute condition acute conditions describes an abrupt severe onset to a disease so here abrupt means suddenly so basically acute condition will come very suddenly and it will become very severe so if you have any problem it will goes within one month you can four weeks you can think it as acute condition so within one month that condition needs to go off then you can consider it as acute condition so question 11 what is a chronic condition so answer chronic conditions develop slowly and lasting for a long, long time for example we can take diabetes instantly abruptly will not get diabetes it will develop gradually and it will survive for long time so lifelong we need to bear that diabetes so these are the conditions which will develop slowly and long lasting for a long time so if you think that if you have any condition that will exist for more than one year 
you can think that that is a chronic condition. So here question number 12, what is a syndrome? So answer syndrome means a group of signs and symptoms that consist consistently appear together. So syndromes are very common in our coding. So you need to know the definition of the syndrome too. So question number 13, what is etiology? Etiology means the study of cause. Although the term is used in coding to simply refer to the cause of a disease. So what are the reasons for disease? In our coding section, we have etiology manifestation codes. So because of etiology, we will get the manifestations. So we need to think etiology as the, what is the reason for the disease. Anyway, uh, soon I am going to start ICD-10-CM guidelines videos so we can understand it is very easily about this etiology manifestation. So here we have what is manifestation. Manifestation means an outward demonstration or perception. Signs and symptoms are manifestations of diseases. So because of those diseases, we will get the signs and symptoms. So manifestations are the initial signs of a disease. So question number 15, what is an eponym? Answer, terms that are named after a person or place associated with the term. So whenever you find a diagnosis with name or diagnosis with place or procedure with the name of that invented person, you can call it as eponym. For example, if you take Alzheimer's disease, because of that scientist name, they will make it a, made it as Alzheimer's disease. For example, if you take, so if you take Austin bionectomy in CPT, so Austin will become any place or person name. So because of that type of bionectomy is discovered by Austin. This Austin belongs to any place or person name also. You usually we will call it as Austin bionectomy. So you call it as eponym. Next question is what is IM? IM means intramuscular. So usually we will perform this for intramuscular injections. So within the muscles. Intra means within. Muscular means muscle. So within the muscle. So question number 17. What is the meaning of ARDRO? Here ARDRO prefix O combining vowel. So answer is here joint. ARDRO means joint. Question number 18. What is ARDRITIS? Answer. ARDRO means joint. ITIS means inflammation. So ARDRITIS means inflammation of joint. Next to question number 19, what is polyductile? So whenever you see any medical word, you are in a position to so divide that word and understand the meaning here. For example, if you take this polyductile, poly means many, ductile means fingers or toes. So you can, uh, our answer is excessive fingers or toes. As I told you, poly means many, ductile means fingers or toes. So, Answer is excessive fingers or toes. So question number 20. What is megaly? Answer enlargement. For example, if you see the word splenomegaly means spleen, enlargement of spleen. So you need to, whenever you see splenomegaly, you need to divide the spleen is one organ and megaly is enlargement. So it will become splenomegaly, enlargement of the spleen. Question number 21. What is Oma? Oma is a suffix. So answer, Oma means tumor. Example, osteoma. Here, if you see osteoma, you need to divide osteoma. Osteo means, osteo means bone. Oma means tumor. So this is a bone tumor. So you need to divide the word and you can get the answer easily. You can understand easily. What is the term? Question number 22. What is sclerosis? Answer. Sclerosis means hardening. Example, arteriosclerosis means hardening of artery. Next one is, what is stenosis? Answer, stenosis means narrowing. Example, tracheostenosis means narrowing of trachea or windpipe. Other name for trachea is windpipe. So, don't get confused with sclerosis and stenosis. Sclerosis means hardening. Stenosis means narrowing. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर वाट इज एक्टमी एक्टमी मीन रिमूवल फॉर एक्सापल इफ यू टेक इफ यू सी द प्रोसीजर लाइक थैराइड एक्टमी मीन यू नीड टू डिवेड दट वर्ड सो थैराइड इज प्रेफिक्स एक्टमी इज सफिक्स सो एक्टमी मीन रिमूवल सो हियर थैराइड मीन थैराइड ग्लैंड रिमूवल क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव वाट इज लिथोट्रिप्सी हियर टू यू नीड टू डिवेड द वर्ड you need to understand prefix and combining vowel and suffixes if you know all these three parts your life will become very easy even in cpc exam even in live coding even if you go to the interview also so here our answer is litho means stone you see here litho tripsy tripsy means destruction or fragmentation so complete means meaning is destruction of or fragmentation of stone lithotripsy so question number 26 what is scopy answer scopy means viewing example colonoscopy here also you need to divide the word prefix and combining vowel and suffix here colonoscopy means scopy means viewing colon means large intestine so here colonoscopy viewing of the large intestine using a scope so we can call it as colonoscopy so next question number 27 what is dcs answer dcs means fusion and binding you can normally we can call it as arthro dcs so because of this arthro dcs so we will restrict the movement of the spine if we have spondylosis all those conditions physician will perform arthrodesis by limiting the movement of the spine so here arthro means joint desis means fusion so fusion of your joint arthrodesis means question number 20 is what is ostomy basically ostomy is a artificial opening for example if someone has colon cancer physician will remove the colon what do you call that colectomy ectomy means removal colon ectomy colon means our body part large intestine so body part removal is colectomy that time they will create colostomy so it is colostomy is one type of artificial opening question number 29 what is the difference between prefix my and combining vowel o versus prefix my el with combining vowel o answer myo means myocardium and mil mylo means spinal cord or bone marrow so usually you can see this myo in the myocardial infarction where your heart arteries will get less blood so you will get heart attack due to myocardial infarction so question number 30 what is the use of musculoskeletal system so what is the purpose answer musculoskeletal system give us support movement and protection from injuries question number 31 what is anatomy answer to cut apart that study of the structure of the body so if you want to know coding and if you want to write cpc exam you need to know the anatomy and physiology of our body so that you can understand the wording easily so basically anatomy means study of the structure of the body so how our structure made and next one what is physiology the study of the function of the body so anatomy is study structure of the body and physiology is function of the body so how all these structures combine and perform function so we need to learn learn anatomy and physiology to code properly question number 33 what is dorsal answer back side so now coming words are very important in cpc as well as in live coding also why means whenever physician starts a procedure he will tell us so i have made incision on the dorsal side ventral side and i have ligated a superior artery inferior artery so all those words we are going to learn here even if you go to cpc exam also you will get few operative reports you need to repo, read those operative reports and you need to code the 
scenario. So what is the question number 33? What is dorsal? So it is backside of any organ like our human body. And what is ventral? So ventral is front side of the body. Question number 35, what is superior towards the head? What is inferior towards the tail? Means toe side. What is ipsilateral? Answer, same side. For example, if you, if you take your hand and leg on left side, ipsilateral side. So, leg is also left side, hand is also left side. So, it will become ipsilateral on same side. What is contralateral? So, if you take right leg and left hand, which is contralateral, opposite side. Question number 39, what is proximal? Near to the joint. Question number 40, what is distal? Far from the joint. Question number 41, what is supine position? Lying on back. So, whenever physician takes the patient to operating room, based on the operation or surgery, he is going to perform place the patient on supine or prompt positions. So, if physician is performing surgery on back side, he will place the patient on prone position. So, if physician is performing surgery on front side, he will make place patient on supine position. So, what is prone position? Lying in on belly. So, here physician is going to perform on surgery on back side. Thanks for watching. Until this stage, please help your friend to subscribe my channel. So, in soon I am going to publish interview questions and CPC questions for inpatient, surgery, anesthesiology, as well as radiology. If you have any comments, please mention in the comment section. And if you would like to know any topic, I am ready to explain. So, please. Place your comments on the comment section to know your opinion about my videos. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and help your friend to subscribe my channel. Happy coding!